Alright, what's up YouTube? This is Young Josh's Life and welcome to yet another Road to the Show video. This is the double A debut of Paul Romero. This is one of the most anticipated events of his life and gets to show the world how to really play baseball. And so uh let's get down to it. Kind of a long loading sequence there here, but it'll pop up any moment now. We're still loading. Yeah. Um. Any moment now, um, the game will come up soon. Okay, that's it. What in the world is wrong with this game? Why does the game take so long to load up? You would think a system as advanced as a PlayStation 3 would have better load screens than this, but why does it take so long to load up? It's still doing it. Oh, and finally, the game loads up. What a load of poop that was. Alright, now we're getting into the warm-up session. You see Paul talking to his hitting coach. Um, getting ready for his debut tonight. But let me address something when it comes to the hitting in this game. So, in order to hit the ball, square is for power swing. X is for normal. And circles for contact. Now, having three buttons is good and all, but do you really need three buttons to hit the ball? I mean, really, all you really need is circle to hit for contact and square for power. So that was dumb. And this game is very picky when it comes to you hitting the ball. And you have to let it win. So in order to hit the ball, you have to hold it down. If you don't hold it down, it's going to look just like this every time. So you have to hold the ball down. So let's get into the second pitch, and there, see, there you go again. I did it. If you don't hit the ball, if if you don't hold the ball, if you don't hold, ah, if you don't hold the button down long enough, it's gonna look like the last one. Now that time I did it correctly the first time. This game is like an eight-year-old kid. You have to let it have his own way, or else you're not gonna win. So there you go. Once again, I did it again. Um, here we go, and there you go. <laughs> So um, right now for my warm-up session, not looking too good. I'm sort of struggling right now. Um, I'm mostly getting foul balls and strikeouts on a warm-up session. So finally, I get one to go down. So eh, not so good for a warm-up. Let's hope this doesn't carry on to uh, the game. Welcome back to our minor league pregame show as we move closer to the start of Eastern League action with tonight's installment of the Bowman Prospect Spotlight. Paul Romero will be in the glow and Steve will be playing in his first double A contest in this one. What can we expect from him going forward? Well, I'm sure he's excited to get this next phase of his career started. When you talk to the people in the front office, they all say even though he's got a lot of upside, he's still kind of a work in progress. He's still got a decent sized road ahead of him before making it to the show. But if he plays smart and he works hard to improve those skills, I think he's got a chance to not only make it, but to be an impact player in the major leagues. All right, the guys and I will be back to get this one started on the show right after this. So you just heard Steve Lyons said that there's big things in my future if I keep on uh, continuing my play. And all of them are very excited to see what I'm going to do for my debut. So that's nice to hear. Between the New Britain Rockcats and the Flying Squirrels of Richmond. And before we get too much further, here's a look at each manager's starting lineup here for the opener. Let's also get a look at our two starters in this one as you see a couple of right-handers getting the baseball. Man, I made it. Here it is, the double A. Man, it's going to be so amazing. I'm going to be hitting home runs at the park 
up like Babe Ruth, stealing bases like Ricky Henderson, and catching fly balls out the park like Bo Jackson. Here it is, Paul Romero, first at bat, the start of something special. Here it is, we're at the top of the second, we're up by four. Here we go, in the pitch. Ah. Uh, well, I feel like we do. But you guys are somewhere. So. Alright, so let's check out me in the outfield. Um, it's the bottom of the third, and we're still up about four. So, let's see how I do. I'm going to lazy being in the center field. And so, I managed to grab that. So, what, what you're really going to need when so you're nothing happening this time around. To hop on now to the, the top of any coming no your way. So it'll be much easier for you for to grab it. So now we're still in the game. We're looking for my first double A hit. So let's see if I can get it on here. It's the top of the four. No, I'm not at top of the fifth. I'm still level four. Round it, round it, go, and I go, managed go, go. to get my first hit. So there it is. A milestone of many to come. And that right there was his first hit at the double-A level. Steve, that's got to be an exciting moment for him. Yeah, and with that first knock out of the way, he can now settle in and start working on the next one. Of course, he's aiming for that first major league hit, but he's got to start somewhere. And so there it is, Paul Romero's first hit and um, it, re it really feels good um, it's a very nice accomplishment for him and that's many hits to come and so my teammate hits a uh, ground ball to the right field and I'm on second base now there's one thing I need to address when it comes to the base front in this now game here comes the skipper out of the it third is base very dugout, sensitive and it looks as if though that's going to be all for a starter here tonight click the right stick up so he'll depart after down working just four plus innings. Or right. this will because if you flick it in any of those directions, your man will run off base and he'll get flicked off every time. This man is very sensitive. So, see like this, see right there? And unknowingly, for me, he just started playing this game yesterday. I did that, and guess what? I got out. So, do not touch that right and also. So, as you move on towards the top of the fifth, we're up by 10, and I have a man on second. And so I'm looking for my second hit, and. Oh. Ball ball. No, actually, not a fly ball, a laser ball. All told, 10 men come to the plate here. Six of them score. And I'm going to hit the ball, and the guy catches it. But even though I got out, I earned a trophy, first step, so that's pretty good. All right, now we're transitioning to the top of the seven. We have a man on first and a man on third. Um, let's see if we can get my first RBI and, and swing a pop up. And you can see the body language on Paul's face. I'm flying the world that I hit that ball. All right, so here we are in the bottom of the ninth. And the man on first. Score the right on the floor. Time to hand out Top's Player of the Game honors for this one. And guys, I think we can all agree that this fellow right here deserves it more than anybody that took the field in this one. And you have to feel good for that guy right there. The game's finally counted. He comes out on opening day.